Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we finished up with our membership view and controller in the previous lesson. In this one, I said I'm going to create the payments route, but before I do that, I think I just, because I wanted to make quite an easy integration with Stripe, but I think I'm gonna meet it out a little bit to give us a little bit more flexibility. So if later on you want to add trials to your membership, so before a user can actually uh, subscribe to the channel they might want to run a trial or whatever the case may be then you can easily do that so I was thinking let's do that so uh, when a user when you create a user you actually create a Stripe customer and then from there on you can add a trial to it update the information and in this case when we get to the form which we're obviously going to get to very soon but I'm thinking uh, instead of just doing a simple integration I'm going to do a little bit uh, more of an advanced integration with Stripe so that you if you want to flesh it out a little bit more then you can easily do that okay not just the basics so this is what we're going to do in this one so Let's say we lock out as John, right here. Now the thing is, if you, as you can see, if we register a user, you remember when we installed Laravel, Laravel Cacher, you will see we have a Stripe ID, a PM time, PM last, and a basically a trial end set. Now the Stripe ID will basically, it's the customer ID that the user gonna create. All right, so what we're going to do in this case is, if a user register, they're obviously going to be assigned a Stripe customer ID when they register so that we can be able to deal with these type of things. Right, the PM basically stands for payment method type and the other uh, payment uh, method last four. Basically, it's the last four digits of the card number. And the trial ends at, obviously, if you want to add when the trial basically going to end. Right, so that's kind of the setup we're going to follow. A little bit more for advanced um, basically strap integration into your application so i was thinking instead of just doing the simple one that normally out there i'm just going to do a little bit more advanced one if you want to do billing uh, trials all that kind of stuff it's easy to do from here all right so that's what we're going to do um so in this case as you can see if a user register let's just click on the register we will use these details to basically create a strap custom as well and a user in the database and stuff like that okay so let's do that all right so enough of me mumbling right there right then if we create a user you will go to actions fortify you will see we got to have a create user action under fortify so when we create a new user this is basically the create the method that's going to be called to create basically a new user so what we're going to do is we're just going to instead of just returning the user right there what we're going to do is we're going to set the user to a variable okay and then we're just going to return that user but after we created the user right here we're just basically going to create a stripe customer from that user so the user then let's just go to the user model. I like to explain things, but sometimes I know I'm not, don't explain things. I assume a lot of the things you guys understand, but my apologies. So let's go to the use billable right trade right here. Okay, so if we go to that, you can see manage customers. Just click on that. All right, so let's go create as stripe customer you'll see there's a trade inside basically a method inside our trade for managed customer called create as stripe customer all right now what this will do it will check if the user has a stripe id if it doesn't it will throw if it does it will throw an exception customer already created okay so it means that customer exists so then it will check the name email phone address and all that kind of stuff and it will basically create a stripe customer with those details that you filled in okay so if we go right here they just copy this method right here create stripe customer okay so let me just go to there again so in your billable trade manage customers in your manage customer trade you will see that create a stripe customer method right there we're just going to copy that and basically what we're going to do is we're going to basically create a Stripe customer from this user. 
All right, because in that user variable, we've got the name and we've got the email. Okay, so and what is required here? The name, the email, phone, and address. Okay, but we can use another method with update the stop customer basically when they're actually going to fill in their details in the checkout. All right, so basically, in the checkout right here, we will basically fill in the name from the database, the email, and then the address. Uh, the city or whatever the case may be. I'm not going to do all these fields, but I'm just leaving it as a template so that you can expand or whatever you need to do on it. Right. So then we can be able to get those details from here. So then we can update basically the customer from here. I know that it's a little bit of a mouthful. All right. So we got our customer right there. We're going to fill in with the name and the email, and basically we're going to create a Stripe customer. So let's quickly save this. And let's create a Stripe customer and see if we can actually create one. But before you can do that, uh, just make sure that you have your uh, Stripe key and your Stripe secret key in the developer tools. Just make sure you have those details right there. Okay? Otherwise, you're not going to be able to. Right, let's create a new user and we're going to call this one uh, main. Main, like main at email.com password and password. All right, so if we press register right here, then we need to create that customer. All right, so we need to be redirected to the dashboard. Wait and to see what happened. Let me try that again. All right, I'm just going to do Michelle. Shell at example.com. Um, actually, just do an email.com password and password. All right, let's register. Right, as you can see, we locked into the dashboard. All right, so where you can see we got our dashboard right there with our, all that kind of stuff. As you can see, we got Michelle, the user right here so let's quickly go to the database and actually see if we got a stripe id of a customer so let's go in here database let's go to the users and if we go down at the bottom you will see we got a main registered right there and we got michelle so let's just go out a bit now as you can see it created a user for a customer id so for a customer stripe id in a customer Stripe ID right there. So basically now what we have is we created now a successfully a customer on Stripe. Now if we go into our Stripe dashboard, uh, if you get to your home part right here, okay, then you go to customers, you will see we've got our customer created right here. As you can see, we've got Michelle and we've got Main right here. So we created our two customers right there. Okay, so that's it from this one so in order if you let me just show you now another thing is the payment method right here which is going to be very important very soon so when we start actually doing the receiving the payment so then we can be able to update the payment methods as well so in the dashboard so in this case in the user's profile right here what we can do as well is let the user be able to update their pro the payment details as well right here okay so for us we now successfully created a stripe customer as well so that will enable us to be able to do trials so they can be they basically a customer without actually being having a subscription if you want to read more about this let's just go to laravel right, so if we go to the documentation under stripe um let's just yeah here it is under creating a custom so basically um occasionally you may wish to let me just highlight this occasionally you may wish to create a stripe customer without beginning a new subscription you may accomplish this with create a new customer so we created that so after that what we can do is so once your customer has begun it was that you may begin a subscription at a later date all right so in this case like if we want to do a trial, we can set it up in this manner so that we create a customer, then we add the way the trial must end and all that kind of stuff. So this is quite, quite, quite handy to do. 
right? So let me just quickly, you go to Kesha, right? Into Laravel Kesha, and then you can just go to Customers and create customer right there. I will leave a link in the description for this if you want to go read more about that, right? So let me just go to the home page again. So what we will do in the next one is we now we got our custom all set up. The, obviously the relevant thing to do is when we get to the checkout stuff so that we can able to actually create a payment and subscribe a user. All right. So I just wanted to, instead of just a simple integration, I want to do a little bit more advanced integration with um, Stripe, Laravel Kesha Stripe. So that if you want to expand it, make it a little bit more beefy, meaty, it's easier to do like that. Right. So that's it for me, guys. And if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you have any suggestions or feedback, please uh, leave a comment for me regarding those things. I always read the comments. And yes, I'll see you in the next one. Adios.